Could be a case of mistaken identity for a vulnerable member of our community. A special needs man was left on a bus for hours and even worse. His father says it's not the first time there's been a problem. Contact 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels has more on a story you asked us to investigate. Yeah. John Field loves to bowl. In fact, he's a nine-time Special Olympic gold medalist. His high score, 224. In his off time, he works washing dishes at UNLV. You get the text message saying the bus has arrived, so we figured he got on the bus. Steve Brewer says everything seemed to be fine with his son and the paratransit bus earlier this month, but as time ticked on, he knew something wasn't right. About an hour later, we call and asked him, where are you? And he goes, I'm at... Um, Lake Mead and Rock Springs. John was here more than 15 miles from his house. Steve says his son made it home three hours late, and this isn't the first time. I'll tell you why it's not acceptable. Because about a year ago, they brought another uh, handicapped person to my house. In October last year, another snafu left John stranded at a bus stop. After that incident, Steve says RTC promised to change their ways. Worry about his safety when something like that happens. And I know that if it's happening to him, it's got to be happening to other people. The RTC released a statement to Contact 13, which reads in part, quote, We have two customers named John, with similar sounding last names, who are picked up in the afternoons at the same time and location. When the driver came to pick up Mr. Field, the other John boarded. The RTC says they have transported John hundreds of other times without incident. John's dad says it's sloppy at best pointing to these envelopes filled with free bus passes, each one representing a time when the bus pickup and drop off didn't go according to plan. The RTC acknowledges the error and says they are working on safeguards to prevent this from happening again. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. We looked into this after a viewer reached out to us, so as always, if you have a problem you'd like us to check out, send an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com and please include your name and phone number.